Ayan, good morning everyone! How was your long weekend? I hope na-enjoy kayo. At I know, nainip yung iba kasi ilang araw din walang trading day. Ilang araw walang kita. Yeah, I understand the feeling. I was like that when I was really aggressively trading before. Right now, nagpo-position trading lang ako. Sayang hindi gumagalaw. But somehow, really, um, mas relaxing ngayon ang trading. Right? Um, we'll talk about the market. But before that, good morning, good morning, good morning to my daughter Laika. And let me just double check on everything. I hope everything is working well. Kasi long weekend, yung mga settings ko. Ayan. Um, yun. Yun. So everything is okay. So let me go back to my full screen. Yun. Para intense eh. Maulan ang umaga ngayon. Uh, let me go. So first, um, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is, hindi siya first actually, pero pag-uusapan natin ngayon is, uh, let me just uh, increase the audio. Baka may problema sa audio. Ayan. So, um, what the main topic for today is anong possible strategy for green today? Right? Anong possible scenario that will happen to green today? How are you gonna handle it? Uh, I, do I, uh, who are the people I recommend it to? Right? Iba-iba kasi. The, the types of people in the stock market are very complex. Kung may mali man ako dati sa mga recommendations, I think it's because I didn't consider the profile of each people so i really want to be clear on what type of strategy you want to put it in here pero yun um depende kung kaya ng profile niyo right so it's up to you right um yan isa yan and then the telcos and daming developments sa telco uh, over the weekend and so last week ang ganda ng mga developments sa telco so we'll talk about that in a while also we'll talk about psei also let me just double check if the audio is working well Everything is okay, so yon. So okay. Um, ano ba ba? Um, yeah. And PSEI, we'll talk about PSEI. Very good. Um, very good. Uh, looking um PSEI, especially last uh thurs Wednesday, was or Thursday? Yeah, uh, Wednesday. Even it was, I thought it was profit taking day. Pero ang ganda ng green ng PSEI. So that's a very good move for PSEI. That should start. Uh, that should start a a very good move for uh over the market over overall. Yeah. And so we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, at around eight forty in the morning. So if you just watch the, if you're watching the replay, just move the video forward to around twenty five minutes. That's exactly eight forty um on our time here. So, you can go directly to the discussion, right? So, let's get on to it. Unahin ko yung mga comments ninyo. If you have any um, reactions 
post it in the comments. So I'll do our best to read them. Right? If you have any questions, mamaya bar, uh, last part of our program is the the charting session. Natin. Um, send your request for what companies you want to do charting. Para um, I chart natin ngayon. Let's see what what are the possible scenarios we can uh, we can do with the company that you're looking at. Right. So first up, Joel Gares, number one. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning, then Bull and Bear. Good day, Daryl John Morales. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, then I had to use my lights because um napaka gloomy na umaga dito and lamig lamig umuulan. So halang halos walang sunlight sa labas eh. Right, Mark Mabanta. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. What's your take on ISM and Primex? Yet yeah, let's write that down. ISM and Primex. ISM and Primex. Alright, that's written down now. So, pag-usapan natin yan mamaya, Mark Mabanta. Alright? Um, Ranulfo Furza, somehow your message was retracted. Um, so, yan. Um, Austin Camacho, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. IRC and JFC, please. Alright, so, uh, ang ganda na ni JFC. Taas na ni JFC ngayon na. Alright, so, I'm recommending a wait for the pullback for JFC. Uh, but, IRC... Um, Daanan pa rin natin si IRC and JFC, right? IRC and JFC. Ayan. Dave, Guapo Dadis. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. God bless po. Good morning. Then, John Garcia. Good morning to all. Zigward uh, Cabarubias. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Sell or hold ba kay si IRC? Right? Let, let's check that out, right? Um, yeah, magandang topic yan. Pag-usapin natin yung mamaya. Hops. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. How about you? 50 days till Christmas. Um, good morning then. Uh, dito sa amin, ang lamig. Ang ganda na umaga, nahirapan akong gumising kanina. But we have to, servisyo publiko natin to. Alright, so you have to wake up early, uh, study the market, and for get ready for the market. Diba? 50 days till Christmas. Yan, malapit na Christmas, guys. Good morning sa inyo. Um, nga pala, um, if you, if ever, uh, you want to help the channel, help Financial Freedom 101, uh, just go to that super chat right there, yung um, yung dollar sign ng ano, na, na beside ng smiley. Right, if you want to give me tips, um, if you want to donate to the channel, any amount will be greatly appreciated. Right, lagay niyo lang dyan. Also, um, um, konting tulong din, I, I, I will ask everyone to please share the video. Plaki share ang video links sa group, uh, sa, sa walls ninyo sa trading groups ninyo, right? Um, so that, so what's ninyo, para mga kaibigan nyo, makita nila mga program na ito, this will spark their curiosity in stock market. And hindi lang naman stock market ang target ni Financial Freedom 101. It's really uh, financial literacy. At least malaman nila about the channel, right? Because I'm gonna be expanding the, uh, the reach of Financial Freedom in the future. Hindi lang sa stocks, but to any other aspects of uh, financial literacy like uh, entrepreneurship, savings, uh, investing, and and dami, right? So, yan. Um, Darren, Bo please share, share the video. Darren Boa, mind buntag, Sir Lloyd, sharing now. Thank you so much. It's a green Monday ba, Sir Lloyd? Yeah, we'll talk about green in a bit, right? Na, I'm napaka-excited ng mga tao, right? Danufo first is mind buntag, Coach. Kailan maganda pumasok sa green opening po ba, Sir? No, I don't recommend getting in the opening kasi magagap up yan. We'll talk more about that in a while. <laughs> Renulfo Perez is my buntag coach. Kailan maganda pumasok? Ekiel. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. C-E-I Vol Meg Po. Right. Uh, let's write down C-E-I Vulcan and Meg. Si Vulcan, may lumalabas na news about it, uh, about I, uh, Converge ICT. Sila yung... Um, Sila na, we've we've been talking about that for a while now, right? The best but speculation yun. But with the stock market right now, um, you buy the speculation and then sell on news. Sell on news na yan, di ba? So, kakalabas ng news, so most probably magbebentahan na yan. So, um, konti ingat mo na kay Vulcan kung, nan, oh, kung hindi pa na, kayo nakakapasok. Let's see what will happen today. We can't really tell, right? So, um, gagawin natin dyan is really momentum trade lang. If ever magka-momentum today, then sakyan nyo um, pang ano na talaga yun eh. Pang, um, pang intraday na strategy na lang yan. Alright. Ella Montefalco, good morning. Basilides Abdurajak, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. Thank you. Roy Minao, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. From South Korea, STI, ABS, and Popi po. Alright. Let's check these out. And you want to say, you want to say, you want to say, you want to say, you Roy, to say, you Roger Aguilar, uh, good morning, sir, from Singapore. Balaking volume last day, 
uh, of October. Uh, yes, ang ganda ng volume last day of October. Sana same uh, as today. GFC, SECB, GT Cap. Let's check these out. These are the good companies you're looking at. Very good. I really recommend uh, you guys, mga newbies, look at these companies first. Yung mga sure na companies na daming mura ngayon. Mamaya na kayo sa mga second liner pag magaling na talaga kayo. Rick Romero, good morning to all at lalo na sa'yo, Sir Lloyd. Yan, good morning then. Ask ko lang po, anong insight nyo kay CLC at Vulcan? Alright, check out. Let's check out CLC. Ang hirap hubulin CLC eh. Alright, um... Ang hirap, ang hirap. Kasi hindi siya nagpo-pullback pero it's a slow climb. So, walang gaanong momentum naman talaga. Led, good morning. Sir Lloyd, have a great day ahead po. You too, Led. Right? Hop, sir, ano po dapat strategy sa Telco Stocks pagdating ng November 7? Dun sa mga may hawak na di nanalo, anong dapat gawin? Let it go. Right? Let it go if I were you. Uh, we'll talk more about that. Yun yung topic natin ngayon. Right? Um, anong katilalikod ko? Sorry. <laughs> It, honey, kabigting, good morning, coach. Ayun, asan na yun? Yan. Umakit bigla. Honey, kabigting, good morning, <clears throat> coach and Laika. Um, food, Vulcan, VLL po. Thank you so much. O nga pala guys, i-post ko ang mga uh, position picks ko for today. And food is in one of them. So, very good pick, honey, kabigting. Alright, let me put, post this in the comments. Ayan. So, um... So, nasulat ko na rin ang request mo si Food, Vulcan VLL. Right? Ah, si Vulcan VLL andyan na. Um, si, ano na lang, VLL. Right, sulat natin si VLL. Right. Hops, ISM and IRC, buy on dips lang, sir. Um, ISM and IRC, yes, I recommend just buy on dips on ISM and IRC. Right? We look, we're looking at it for the long term kasi. Right? The reason why we got in IRC is for investing purposes. Uh, Hindi siya for trading purposes ng long term ang IRC. That's why I want you to keep buying on the dips. That's your opportunity to gather more volume. Um, sa ano, um, what do you call this? Gather more volume and uh, keep accumulating for the future, right? Diba? So, parang gagawin yung ano yan, um, cost averaging, but only buy on the dips, right? ISM also, yan, for the long term din yan. Ang ganda ng project ng ano, ang ganda ng project ni. ISM, especially sa coming na Clark, Pampanga, that's for long term, right? So, I, we're looking at ISM for longer term. Kaya, buy on dips lagi yan. Jerome Villahermosa, good morning, Sir Lloyd, from KSA. Alcar. Alcarge? Alcar. Ayan, I'm not really sure how to read that. I'm not good at uh, geography. Ayan. But yeah, good morning sa inyo. Jerome Villahermosa, mga kapatid nating OFWs. Uh, Jan sa KSA din. Um, che Hero, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning. Folaika, good morning from Taiwan. Hotsaki, good morning. How Tsao An. Yan. Good morning sa inyo dyan sa mga kapatid natin nasa Taiwan. Gilbert Veles, can you share your thoughts on the going telco seria? Who do you think will prevail? Thanks, sir. Good morning. Yes, so that's our main topic for today, Gilbert. We'll talk about that. Because sino, who do you think will prevail? I'll write down your question para... Um, ma, hindi natin ma miss kung who do I think will prevail. Right? I've already been vocal with sinong bet ko. I think PTNT will prevail. Uh, we'll, we'll go more into details then later. No hate on other uh, on, on others uh, on other telco, telco aspirants, but yeah, yun yung pick ko. Um, Daran Boa, Sir Lloyd, how to check? know the volume in one minute charting na pwedeng magamit sa intraday trading it's really hard to check for the volume sa intraday right um so by minute volume i don't think you can find that um the best is yung ano lang yung one minute chart and then yeah, let's check out the ano all right so yung one minute chart lang and then you judge the volume here right so this is the one minute chart of dd for example and see si dd uh one minute chart this is the one minute chart right here and then here is the volume right here um 4.6k makikita niyo naman yan dito sa dito right volume per 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 ano per candlestick so that's 4.6k in this minute yan so makikita niyo yan dyan. right so that's how you check out for the volume every minute right so you just hover your mouse over that candlestick and the volume will show magkano yung volume niya on that minute Right, so Darren Bo, I, I hope I was able to answer your question. Rex Hardinero, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Any thoughts po kay Bloom and Tugs? Thank you so much and God bless. Actually, Tugs is in my picks today, right? Um, yun, so Tugs is there. Um, Bloom naman, I'll write down Bloom. Ni recommend ko yan noon 
uh, uh, a few days back si Bloom. It, um, and Bloom has been moving, pero hindi ganang kabilisan. Alright, let me check, double check, bakit wala si Bloom. Ay, wala nga, umakit pala si Bloom last, ano, um, last, ano, uh, last Wednesday. Yan, Wednesday, I uh, did recommend Bloom at the support area right here. Yeah, that's why I recommended Bloom kasi tatlong beses na yan, na-hit yung support na yan. So, that's a very solid support right there. Mm, even though the price is going sideways, packet yung RSI. So, that's momentum. So, we did recommend it here. And ayan, umakit na si Bloom. I removed Bloom today because that's a missed opportunity. We're just waiting for the retracement of Bloom again before I want to recommend Bloom again kung mag-higher low na yan. Right? So, Rex Hardinero. Um, yan, okay na yan. Uh, Mark Lester, Gardosa, good morning, Boss Lloyd, and TBC, the Billionaires Club. Good morning, Mark Lester. Uh, Eduardo Arcoy, morning, Sir Lloyd. Green, we'll talk about Green in a while. Melvin, uh, Gerald uh, Gerald Mel Alvaran, good morning po, Sir Lloyd. TBGI and MRC po. Um, TBGI, right now, TBGI. Tinitignan ko kanina si TBGI eh, kaso nga lang, it's not, uh, it's not a very clear move for TBGI. We'll talk more about the chart of TBGI in a while. Mark Martin Samar, good morning. Sheila Bulanadi, good morning Sir Lloyd AP for long term investment po, yes definitely AP they're acquiring um foreign companies now for plants, alright, so yeah AP for long term, definitely Sheila alright, Vance Gomez, good morning Sir Lloyd 1.20 in the morning here in Paris, wow amazing, you're still awake 1.20 in the morning for the daily grind assuming lang ako, for the daily grind and the market opening um, antinde, right? Saludo ko sa inyo mga kapatid natin of W's. Ang hirap niyan, right? Nagtatrabaho kayo on the normal hours and madaling araw gumigising kayo for the market, right? So, yan. Um, Monet Lagman, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning, then Hops. Gap down, Buster, STR with the announcement. Yeah, I think so. STR is gonna gap down. We'll talk more about that. That's one of the reasons why I we will be discussing about the telcos in a while. Yes, but it's looking grim for STR. So I hope wala sa inyo ang na hype noon, right? Um, MC Butete, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Future plans po ninyo sa Itoro Trades and sa um, Itoro Trades. I'm just uh, uh holding on to what they call this. Uh, here, here's my portfolio. Sa ano, sa Itoro Trades. Uh, right now, BTC is not moving eh. But the gold is already moving. So, nag-hold nag lang ako ng position. Excuse me. <coughs> We're just waiting for the momentum really. Yet, um, si gold kasi nag-breakout na ito eh. It can't really sell this right now. Sayang naman yung, ano ko, um, sayang naman yung na-set natin na risk to reward ratio. We're, we're targeting 10% or at least 10% for this position. Um, you can view the chart of gold. Si Bitcoin, um, I think, yeah, nasa resistance pa tayo eh. So, I, I'm i hoping for another breakout. But yeah, definitely, pumasok tayo kay gold dito. Right? Definitely, it's still up. And showing resistance. But let's wait for it there muna. Right? Um, Malay-layo pa yung target natin dito. Right? Um, Nag-hit lang tayo ng resistance. Si Bitcoin, I think I'm gonna let go of Bitcoin once we, ano, once we hit mag 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 break even lang ito i lalabas ko lang muna sa bitcoin and get uh look for other positions all right so that's my plan for eToro nga pala guys if you haven't um opened an eToro account yet check out eToro's copy trading you can copy my trades if you want to and not just me and dami pang ibang magaling na traders ako starter pa lang ako sa international market so it's really hard for me i'm still having a hard time with the time with the time ano sa foreign na market so yeah, not just me. You can copy other traders out there na magagaling. You can see their stats, right? So this is for people who, ano, who are, uh, wala talaga oras mag-trade and wants to invest in the foreign market also. Um, eToro is a good platform you can test out. Just make sure to make an eToro account using my link if you're using a PC, right? Use my link on the video description below. Um, Ayan, this is uh, ayan, uh, video description below para makatulong kayo sa akin. Right? Every registration um, using my link helps me a lot in, in return. Right? So, yeah, check out eToro and copy trading. Right? Very good question, MC. Right? Raymar Mariano, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning then Noel na, na, uh, Noel Mama, good morning. Uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pabati po. CY and Company, Mami House, and 
Ah, uh, Mommy House ng Bulacan. Ayan, good morning sa inyo diyan. Mommy House ng Bulacan. Para na tay ra- registration nito ah. Wasn't expecting for daily grind to be this big, but yeah, I'm really happy with the ano, uh, with the with the returns of uh what they call this of uh the daily grind and good morning sa inyo diyan engineer mmi good morning sir Lloyd. good morning then sir inputs po kay mer yet mer, si mer nag break out there right uh it was it would have been a breakout strategy but let's check out mer's uh ano ngayon uh, mer's uh what do you call this uh chart today right um best katindig tbgi yes tbgi is in the list uh, it's state 835 may 5 minutes pa tayo to read all the comments na makikita natin dito good morning sir Lloyd and Laika from Kellens Dagger, Joy Season. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pabati naman po. Tom Fernan na nasa work ngayon at nag-break para manood po sa inyo. Alright, wow. Great. Good morning sa inyo, guys. Especially kay Joey and Tom Fernan. Alright. Miss D, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And everyone, may updates po ba kay now? Yun nga, eh, walang updates. Eh. We'll, we'll see more on November 7 kasi isa, um, the, the bidding will start right this week. So, That's good. That's good. That's very good. Um, malaking, uh, malaking ano natin na yan dito. Uh, malaking potential. We're gonna be talking about the strategies on how to take advantage of this potential. Of the third tell, Car- Carlos Jr. Hi, no. Good morning, sir. Uh, morning, Lodi. Or and ATN. Yan si Or and ATN. We'll write, uh, or is there and ATN. We'll talk about ATN. Pong long term yan. Right. Neth Mill. Hi, sir. Mentor. And hi to my daughter. Um, si, ano, si... Si Jen, kasi she is listening now to your video. Is Bloom and Seb a buy? Bloom and Seb and buy. Alright. Uh, si Bloom, last week yung buy natin kay Bloom. Eh. Ngayon umakit na si Bloom. So I really want to wait for the retracement and the bounce on a higher low. We'll talk about Bloom in a bit. Sulat ko si Bloom lang ha. Ayan, and dyan na pala si Bloom. So we'll talk about that. Si Seb naman, let's check out Seb. Kamusta natin si Seb? Hindi ko napansin si Seb today. So re- uh, thank you for the question para ma- makita natin. Or Chester, Dio Siniza, Sir Lloyd just put 100k buying power. Any insights po? Po? From Chile, yeah, from Chile kayo. So you have 100k buying power. Start with um, wag yung talon ka ng talon sa ibang company. Start with your own picks. You have you have to have your own picks and do your own due diligence. Research companies, research their future projects, research research about their potential, and stick to that company. Right, stick to that company. Wait for the opportunity to buy that company. Yun yung nire-recommend ko talaga sa mga students. Because speaking of students, I have classes for this weekend. It's a Friday and Sunday. Friday and Sunday, kasi Saturday, I have a very important errand, so hindi ako maka, um, hindi ko ma tutuli tuloy. So it's gonna be Friday and Sunday at 8 p.m. Right. So if you wanna join that, just send me a message. Right. I know you can learn trading na. Walang bayad and everything. You can uh, may magana to my daily grind. Meron namang mga um, tutorial videos sa YouTube. Uh, but you have, I was like that before, di ba? But you have to respect the trading, uh, the learning curve. Mahaba ang learning curve ninyo. So, what the wise people do is they invest in books, in training, in coaches. So, nagbabayad sila ng ganyan to shorten the learning curve. I recommend you do that too. Kasi, paparating na ang bullish market. And this is how you can take advantage. Hindi yung bullish na market, nag-aaral pa lang kayo. That's very demoralizing, I tell you. Habang nagigains yung ibang tao, kayo nalulugi, right? So, yan. So, so that you can take advantage of the uh, of the bullish market, cut your your learning curve shorter. And my workshop is very cheap. Send me a message if you wanna join. Napakamura na workshop. Right? Um, done sharing, sir, from... Um, Jerome Villarmosa, thank you so much. Chester, done sharing po. Thank you then. Vance Gomez, ATN, Sir Lloyd. Ano insight sa magiging ASM nila November 8? We're, I'm waiting actually for the ASM ng ATN. Anong mga, ano, anong mga, what do you call this? Anong mga, what do you call this? Everything, masabi niya, no audio eh. So, Providencio, please re- refresh your YouTube lang siguro. Um, I'm waiting for ATN's ano ASM. Ano yung mga details sila doon? We'll know for sure, but yeah, ATN definitely is for long term. So just keep on buying on the dips whenever you see a dip and a support. Right? Position picks for today, akin pala yan. <laughs> uh, Ronwell Sako, yan. Uh, 
It's 8.40. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Pa shoutout kay Alex Onze sa group. <laughs> si Alex Onze sa group. Ayan. Good morning. Uh, shoutout. Yeah. Veronica Tabusares. Good morning. And Noel Espinosa. Good morning then. Michael Masagka. Morning, Sir. Watching from Dubai. Sige. Um, Green and Vulcan. Right? Nasa lista natin yan. So, um, for now, I'm gonna stop with Michael Masagka muna. Right? Um, we'll pause with Michael because it's 8.40. We need to start the discussion now. Right? Um, before that, I want to thank our sponsors, Two Trade Asia, TwoTradeAsia.com. Right? Um, if you are still looking for a broker, na mag- mabilis at um reliable, Two Trade Asia, you might want to check them out. Right? To, at TwoTradeAsia.com, at ganda ng mobile app nila. You can trade anywhere, anytime, on the go. If you're a type of trader, na ako before when I was working, nagtatrabaho ako, uh, I I had to use a mobile app. So, check out 2 3 Asia. Ang ganda ng, ano, ang ganda ng capabilities nila. Right? So, topic for today. Possible strategies for green and the telco area. Unahan natin si green. Ayan, pag-usapan natin si green. Um, green. Ayan. So, ang point of reference natin are similar scenarios for green. Right? Um, this is green right now. Uh, its current price is 0.370. Right? So, possible scenario. Anong possible scenario ni Green mangyayari today? Let's go to Ma. This happened to Ma also before. Right? Si Ma um, na ano din, na suspend. Look at this gap right here. Uh, let me make sure you're seeing this. Right? So, this is this one right here. Tanggalin ko lang si Bollinger Band ha, para makita niyo talaga. Right? So, this gr- little green line right here was dated 2007. Right? 5.17. So, that's June 7... Uh, no, no. May 17. Right? So, 2007. And then, after that, look at this gap up and climb of Ma. So, from the current price to the peak, it reached 699%. No... Uh, wala siyang... Ano? Wala siyang... What do you call? Ceiling. Right? Wala siyang ceiling on the first day of trading. The ceiling is usually just 50% climb on the first day of trading. But in this case, since it was closed for more than 3 years, it was suspended for more than 3 years, day 1 has no, uh, what they call this, has no ceiling. That's for the adjustment, readjustment of the price of the stock um, to cover up for the ilang months, even years, na hindi siya naka... Uh, nakapag-trade, ba? So, it went as high as 688%. This is the possible scenario of green today. Especially that green is, um, compa- if you wanna compare greens performance during this year when it was closed and compare it to last, uh, to the recent development of green, maggumaganda ang earnings ng green. So, it's recovering. So, most probably, mas mataas pa yung real price ng, um, ng stock ni green ngayon. Right? So, I don't have any access to research yet kung magkano yung fair value nila today. But definitely, it's better than this, right? Um, so, 0.36, 0.37, hindi, um, pwede na, tingnan nga natin yung ano, tingnan nga natin yung par value nila. I, uh, let me open edge. Right, green. Give me one moment. Ayan. So, si green. Ayaw mag-load. But anyways, um, before we before we go that, so we're we're expecting a gap up kay Green, especially ngayon and daming din uh, and dami ng attention kay Green. Expecting expected na sa opening mag gap up. Maybe it's gonna go up. Wala siyang ceiling eh. so it's maybe it's gonna go up like it's gonna blow up like MAH. You know niya kay MAH. That's a possible scenario. I'm not really sure if that will happen today. Um, but if that happens, um, after the gap up, magsasubside muna yang Ang mangyayari niyan is when it gaps up, magsasubside, magsasubside muna yung demand and people will look for a good entry, a good base before they want to get in. So, on the opening, I don't recommend getting in at the opening. Right? Wag muna sa opening. Right? If you have any comments, you can do that. Right? So, Please post it on the comments. So, so mangyayari niya, mag-gap up. Most probably, it will gap up and then start to fill. Let me get an arrow. Line, arrow. Um, arrow. Yan. So, usually, mag-gap up yan. Let's say, ang gap up niya is dito. And then, it will go down for a bit. 
right? I don't think it's gonna fill the entire thing, uh, the entire gap. And then once um, the 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 hype subsides, people w- who are looking for a good base will start to get in. Right? So yun yung mangyayari. So once people start to get in, that will be our entry point also. If may makita kayo, if uh, if may makita kayo na support or bounce, pwede nyo gamitin yan. And then you enter and then it will go up most probably. So yun yung possible scenario natin dyan. How much should you put in? Yan yung possible scenario. And so antayin natin yung um, pag-fill ng gap going down. And then once you see a bounce and it's a good bounce, you can use Bollinger Bands, um, intraday Bollinger Bands if you want to. If you want to look for a bounce. Um, ngayon, ngayon mag-open si Green ngayon, Doppel Gunner. Right? So, but yeah, um, it's gonna bounce, then that will be your entry point. If ever um, you think it's a bounce and you get in, and if it goes lower, you can cut your losses, right? You, kasi wala kayong base dyan. You have to cut your loss if your entry point was wrong. You have to cut your loss because we don't really know what will happen to this stock, right? I mean, just this is just a possible scenario, right? Um, so, what, if it goes down, you just cut your losses. If it goes up, well, that that will be good. That will be your entry point, and then buy on, buy on tranches now if you wanna keep buying more. But this is intraday. That will be very hard. I want you to sell half if ever you see the first weakness sa pagakyat. So kung umakyat man yan, pagpasok nyo, sell half on the first weakness. On the other half, let it ride. Look for the peak. And then sa tuktok, if it goes lower than 3 to 5% sa tuktok, pwede nyo na ibenta lahat. Right, so you can do that if you want to. Right, um, you I don't recommend you holding it after, kasi antay natin yung stabilization ng price niya before you wanna enter green again. Right, we're the opportunity right now is not really for investing. This is just taking advantage of the momentum. Saying naman yung momentum. Right, so speaking of momentum, we're gonna be doing momentum trading. This is not for traders who cannot watch the market full time. If you wanna get in green today. Just make sure you can watch the market full time. Make sure marunong kayo magbili, magbumili at magbenta ng mabilis. Right? So that will be very crucial. This is for intraday strategy. And if you don't know how to intraday, as much as possible, don't try this. Malulugi lang kayo. Paglalaroan lang kayo ng mga magagaling na, na traders. Right? So that's the possible scenario for green. Today, magkano pwede natin ilagay dito? It's up to you. But put in money that you are willing to risk you are willing or you, that's okay for you to lose right because this is gambling right here this is intraday trading this is momentum trading this is very hard so i just want to set your expectation yes there's money to be made here on the momentum but this is not easy money right this is para sa mga mabibilis sa mga kamay yeah wag sa opening and ipasok like abg daming sumabay sa opening daming naipit tama right so um yeah Wag sa opening, right? Wag sa opening. Wag sa sabay sa opening. Just wait for it to subs- wait, wait for it for the uh, uh, wait for the impulse, the impulsive buyer to uh, ano to wait for it to subside. And then once you see the base, that's where you enter. And then sell half when you see the first signs of weakness if you're happy. And then let the other half ride para ma- mabawasan yung emotion niyo. Um, so just sell half. Let the other half ride na lang, right? Money, you put in money, you are willing to risk para mabawasan ang emotion niyo. This is gonna be very frustrating, very fr- emotional, right? Um, this is gonna be very thrilling. So, you won't be able to think properly if malaking pera ilalagay niyo dito. Only put, uh, uh, money, uh, only put money you are willing to risk, right? Wag malaki, please, especially if you're just starting, right? So, that's my, um, that's my, Yan ang gusto kong i-share sa inyo sa green, especially sa newbies, right? Huwag malaking pera, please. Don't be greedy, right? Uh, kasi ang problema, if malaking pera ilalagay nyo dito, paglalaruan kayo ng emotions ninyo dyan, right? I tell you, that's true. So, wag, wag malaking pera. 20k, 30k, 50k. Um, sa, sa 20k, pag nanalo ka ng 50% dyan, may, 10, uh, may 10k ka, ang laki na yan. Sa'yo na yan, right? So, that's enough, di ba? Kung malalo ka ng 50, 50% ng 20k mo. So, ang laki na niyan. Be happy with that. Um, kasi you, you can lose the 20k, right? That's, you're looking only at the good side. Always expect the worst when it comes to trading, right? There, there's a possibility that you can lose also 50%. So, baka mahu, mawala rin siya 10k. Ang laki na niyan, <laughs> di ba? 
on the negative side laki rin yan so um ke kadoring kadoring i all i usually look at the one minute chart one minute to three minute charts ang tinitingnan ko but this is gonna be moving very fast so you ha you most most uh the best uh chart you look at here is one minute chart right so that's the strategy for green right so i hope that's clear if you have any comments about green or any recommendations please put it on our chat room now we're gonna be talking about um, the telco series November November seven the magsisimula na ang bidding so that's gonna be very good right um anong possible natin na mga strategy actually bidding palang naman yun eh it's nothing to be really really uh, uh nothing to be really aggressive about ganito yan there are two peoples who are looking at there are two people who are looking at uh, types of trader who are looking at the telcos right now the investors and the gamblers. Ganun lang naman yun eh. Diba? If, you're, if you wanna guess now kung sino mananalo and you wanna get into it, then you have a gambler mentality. And if you're gambling, you can win it all, but you can also lose it all. Paano pag mali ang tinayaan mo? Tulad ng mga tumaya kay now. Tulad ng mga tumaya kay STR. Ang daming tumaya kay STR. Diba? Nag, nag, ano yun? Nag-sealing yun. Ang daming tumaya, tapos nagkamali. Ngayon, si STR, um, Stream Tech has offici officially said that hindi sila magbibid. Diba? Hindi nila kaya. Right? It's already November 7. It's already November 5 today. So, hindi nila kaya makapagbid on November 7 onwards. So, they're out of it. So, yung mga nagbet, yung mga gamblers na pumasok kay STR, ipit. Diba? So, that was the scenario. Um, yeah, there's a question here, sir. Ano indicators niya for scalping? I use Bollinger Bands for scalping. BBMA, right? So, yun ang ginagamit ko for scalping. I also, uh, hindi ko ganong ginagamit ang IS, uh, RSI, right? So, but BB and MAs, right? Uh, that's what I usually use for scalping. Um, there's a strategy called, uh, the there's a strategy called BBMA. I learned this from uh, seminar sa Malaysia, right? Someone shared me uh, the the inputs there, so I tried to look at it, and then we applied it in our forex trading. And somehow it was working. So kaso nga lang natigil pa kami sa forex ngayon. But yeah, BBMA for scalping. That's what I use, right? Um, asan ako? Uh, telco, 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 right? So sa telco, it's if you're a gambler then do momentum trades. So, kung sino yung, tignan yung lahat ng telco, ito ha, this is a good gambler mentality. Hindi ka, wag kang huhula kung sino ang magiging third telco. Ang gagawin mo, ride the momentum. If ever si Vulcan ang mag-momentum ngayon, and you are an interday trader, get in Vulcan, sakyan mo momentum. I don't want you to guess kung sino ang mananalo. Ang gusto ko gawin ninyo is you ride the momentum. Right? Kung sino man mag-momentum dyan. Right? For example, si Now. Kung mag-momentum si Now, tignan nyo. Intraday trade. Um, intraday chart niya. Sakyan nyo momentum. Kung si TBGI man ang mag-momentum, pwede nyo, ano si TBGI. So, MRC, BTNT is very strong. Diba? Uh, so, baka si MRC ang umakyat. So, pag nakita nyo si MRC ang umakyat, then test buy lang. Right? Again, don't uh, don't risk your entire money. This is gambling right here. As of the moment, you're gambling. So if you want to gamble your entire port, then go ahead. But I don't recommend that because you can lose your entire port. This is how people are losing their entire port because they were gambling their port. They were risking their port. So if you want to test these out and you want to gain money from them, just put in small amounts. 30,000, 50,000, kung okay lang sa inyo yan. Yan lang muna. Huwag kayong mag mag 100,000 diyan 200,000 kaagad kasi you're still gambling right now right right now everything is gambling right so um yun yung for the gamblers right i don't want you to guess i want you to look at all the charts and ride the momentums for the investors naman the wiser ones yan so the wiser ones who don't want to win it all Ang gusto kong gawin ninyo is ipunin nyo ang pera ninyo, right? Don't waste your money away, right? Ipunin nyo ang pera ninyo. The good thing about the gambler is if ever masakyan yung tama and the they, um tama yung napili niya, at least nakapagsimula siya na mas maaga, right? He has the chance to win it all from the very low price to the winning point, ba? So, mas malaki ang mapapanalunan niya. But the disadvantage of being a gambler is what if mali siya, ba? So, pag mali siya, you can win it all. 
he can also lose it all kung mali siya, di ba? So that's the disadvantage of it. Do you want that scenario? Do you want that position that you can lose your entire money? It's okay to do that. If ang ilalagay mong pera, extra lang naman. Meron ka pa namang real money na iniipon mo for the real telco kung sino man ang mangyayari, mangyayari na manalo talaga. That's a wise gambler right there. Diba? So, ganun ginagawa nila. They're risking their money now, but that's money that's they're okay na mawala. Kasi meron pa naman yung mga pera na yan. Meron, mas mara, ang dami pang pera na mga yan, I tell you. Especially the good traders na naglalaro ngayon sa mga, sa mga telco. Yan. Hindi nila entire pera yan. Meron silang pera na talaga na nakasecure for the third telco. That's for the gamblers. Investors naman, um, um, before you go to the investors, um, may comment si Ron. Well, Sako, kung may mapipili, sir, hindi po ba pang long-term and third telco? That's the, that's the, ano, that's the, my point. Now, investor ka naman, I want you to keep your money right now. Huwag ka munang gagalaw. May pera sa pag-uupo. Right? Just sit down. Hindi pa nga natin alam kung ang magiging third telco andyan, uh, andyan sa PSE. Eh, diba? So just sit down for now. Hold your money and then doon ka na pumasok kung sino talaga ang mapipili. Don't worry about winning it all. Diba? Gusto ng gamblers kasi sa simula pa lang gusto nila mapasok na talaga and then they can win it all. That's a gambler mentality. PSE is not for gambling. right? Um, don't worry about not winning it all. Kahit na on the day ka pumasok or the few, next few days, so mga 30, 50 ka na makapasok, ang layo-layo pa ng pwedeng maabot niyan. And that's for longer term. Pwede pa umabot ng 1,000 pesos yan. Kita niyo ang presyo ni Tel at PL, uh, Globe ngayon. Diba? So, possible na pwede ma- pa yan mahabol in the coming years. So, just get in um, for, ano, for, ano, for what they call this, uh, for investment purposes. That's what I am doing. I am not gambling my money away. Kasi hindi naman ako ganun kayaman. Right? So, I'd rather put it on sure companies for now. And then, if ever, I really wanna get in the third telco na, I can always sell my, my possessions, yung mga, mga possessions ko. Doon ako sa mas sure. Right? Uh, I have I have this virtue of kasi of treating the stock market as a bank. Right? A majority of your money should be about, uh, majority should be about protecting your money, protecting your investment. I put it in safe companies. I recommend you guys to become an investor. Huwag kayo magpapahype, please. Huwag kayo magpapahype dyan. Right? Just wait for the real third telco. I know there's money to be made on those hypes, yung mga sinasakyan nila, mga momentums. But if you don't know how to play that yet, umupo ka na lang muna. Kasi you're gonna go against good players and if you go against good players and you're still a newbie guess who will win and who will lose you will lose right so just sit down sit tight right mamaya na kayo maglaro ng ganyan pag magaling na talaga kayo yes there's money to be made in it but it's not money for you yet right? just start learning tingnan nyo lang muna yung mga galaw galaw ng mga tao na yan right so yan yung ano um, yan yung topic natin yun. There was a question earlier. Who do you think will prevail sa third telco? Um, my opinion ko lang ha, PTT, PTNT for me is gonna be the winner. Why? Uh, P, uh, the government has been vocal about PTNT becoming the third telco before that uh, before that telco na um bidding happened right so somehow the government has a bias in ptnt right so i guess this is just my opinion not not to bash other 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 contenders um i guess the bidding <laughs> for my opinion lang is just for formalities right kasi ganito yan um my 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 thoughts on this for this is for example si now magbid siya ng ganitong amount what if ptnt also bids the same amount same um Oh, let's say it's the same pareha sila tanan, lahat. Sino, who do you think will the government choose? Now or PTNT? I think PTSD has that advantage kasi mabait si PTNT sa government. Uh, uh, PTNT has been sponsoring a lot of government projects. Right? So, yan. I think PTNT has the upper hand overall nito. Right? So, pababa ng bid. Kung magkaparehas lang mga bid na yan, most, most probably more, we are there. Um... I think PTNT will win, right? Hands down. Yun lang sa akin, right? Um, 
Nothing against uh, the other other ano other telco si Vulcan has very high chance also. Um but uh, I think Vulcan will do good kahit hindi sila manalo. They will be good in their niche. Nauna na sila sa Davao, so Mindanao pa sa paakyat naman sila. So while PTNT kung mapipili man ng PTNT hindi sila mapili. While PTNT is still concentrating on Manila, then goes down to Cebu and the, uh, on the central na before going to Mindanao. Naka, naka, nakaugat na si Converge sa baba right? and they will have the funds already kasi if they bid, they should have the capital already at marami na silang pera and they, they can use that to improve their, their services so kahit hindi sila mapili uh, it will be very good uh, it, this bidding will still be very good for them because this will increase their capabilities kaso nga lang, ang mangyayari niyan, hindi sila gaano mapapansin because all eyes are on the third telco so do, dun pa rin ako sa third telco kahit pa paano, yung sinasabi ng iba na kahit na hindi sila magpipiling third telco let's just be the fourth telco and fifth telco yes there's truth behind that but you don't know if it's gonna grow f- as fast as the third telco so if you will uh, I will ask you honestly diba sino ang tatayaan mo ang third telco or ang fourth telco right most probably they're just saying it because ando na sila sa sinasabi na magiging fourth or fifth diba but Honestly speaking, mas mabilis ang aakyat ang third telco because it's gonna have the support of the government. So, yun. So, don't gamble please. Just be an investor. That's my recommendation if you're still a newbie. Sa mga gustong mag-gamble talaga, don't guess. Look at the momentum. Sino ang magmomentum? Yun ang pasukin ninyo. Right? That's a wiser approach on this telco serie na coming. So, all eyes on telco and green today. Right? So, that's the topic for today. PSEI. Let's talk about PSEI. Let me show uh, yung screen ko share na naman eh. So, PSEI. Very good volume. The best so far for how many uh, for how many days. Um, also, and that's a higher low right there. We were expecting a higher low and we got a higher low right there. So, that's an uptrend for me. That's good for PSEI, especially that the bear months, November na December, and people will have money, malaki ang pera ng mga tao. It's time to go shopping, and it's time to go shopping stocks. And um, So my outlook for PSEI is good, right? I think this is the worst that we will be having uh, for this year, right? Ito, na-experience na natin the worst for this year, right? Ang tindi niya, halos isang taon rin niya na bagsak. Grabe, ang tagal niya. That was the longest so far. Um, sa experience ko sa stock market right um, pinakamahaba itong ano downtrend nito it did happen also here on 2015 um, but no 2015 hindi pa naman ako uh, gaano aggressive sa trading I was just into investing talaga right nagpo-position trades lang ako nito right um hyperfrost uh good morning thank you for the subscription yan so this is the longest so far pinakamahaba na down um, downtrend na nakita natin so far um, 2.8 projected oh yun, may projected open na si green 2.8 that's a lot that's very big let's check out green yan alas 9 na pala so lumabas na so 2.8 pesos grabe 2.8 pesos uh, 2.8 pesos is here so the 2.8 pesos is projected open how far away is that 2.8 that's 600% kaagad right um 600% kaagad opening. So I don't want you to get that. Get in that. But yeah, that's a very good demand right there. All right. So 2.8 and then babagsak yan ng konti. Wait for the base before you want to get in, right? So 4.50 highest bidder ni Green, right? So hayaan niyo muna sila magkagulo sa simula diyan. Just wait for it to fill the gap. It will fill the gap most probably, right? So antay lang. Antay lang. Ang layo, 600% kaagad. But anyways, sa kanila na yan, um, antayin nyo lang yung, ano, antayin nyo lang mag-fill ng gap before you wanna get in, okay? Um, bagger picks, andyan pa rin sila PHA. Right? PHA, this is something for long term. In, I'm, I'm basing this on the, ano, on the fundamentals of the company. Right? The fundamentals of the company is getting better and better. And then, this is a very good price already for PHA. Very stable price at that area right there. Look at that. That's the lowest it has been for one, two, three points in time. Or four nga yan, So, that's the lowest it has been. Um, 
So that's a very good base for PHA. And the fundamentals are getting good. So getting better. So uh, I recommend PHA for long term. Magbudagi kayo. Huwag muna kayo mag all in. Anyways, nasa sideways pa naman yan. So huwag muna malaki yung pera. Just you can start there if you want to. CPG, same. Um, fundamentals are getting better. Better. The reason why CPG has been falling down the past few uh, years kasi pangit yung performance nila but now CPG has been uh, recovering at gumaganda at gumaganda na yung projects nila. So CPG pwede na nating mag, pwede tayong magbudega dito just buy on the dips it's at a very good price as of the moment. Yeah, so so CPG uh, buy on dips don't go all in. Mura pa yan um, sideways pa yan uh, downtrend pa nga eh diba? So wag mo nang lakem pera just keep on buying on the dips magbudega lang. MRC and baka gumalaw si MRC because of PTNT. Um, that's the scenario we're looking at. So, you have a support right here. So, if you want to test out MRC, yeah, that's the area to test it out. Remember, this is speculative. This is a speculative stock. So, don't put so much money in it. Um, MRC, or naman, si or fundamentals based. This is a good base for or. Right? Keep on buying on the dips lang kay or. Ang ganda ng future ni or. Ang dami lang projects. We can't, uh, so nga lang, yung price action right now is not showing us anything much as of the moment. CLI, fundamentals based also. Um, buy as long as the support holds for CLI. Um, Tugs, um, Tugs is a very good company. Right? Ang ganda ng mga uh, recent na mga ano nila. Negative siya dito sa second quarter but uh, overall maganda naman yung performance niya annually and then that's a very good price. Right? Tugs, I'm recommending Tugs even today. So buy on the dips. Pag nagdi-dip yan si Tugs, actually we're at a dip position pa rin. Si RLC, um, keep buying on the dips. Um, kaso nga lang umakyat na. I've been recommending R R RLC for how many days? These were the dips right here and then yun umangat na. Laki na angat ni RLC last ano um laki ng angat ni RLC last day last trading dates so grew 6.41 so good job sa mga pumasok sa baba just keep on buying on the dips especially kay AT and then something for long term right um, keep buying on the dips pag nakikita niyo itong mga dip na ito ganitong mga dip these dips right here these are the these are the areas you want to buy AT and keep accumulating AT and while mura pa siya right short term picks ko for today Shell PH right i'm going to share to you um isa sa number one pick uh, isa sa mga gusto kong picks for today is Shell PH. Look at Shell PH. Uh, let me remove Bollinger Bands para ano. Kasi hindi naman Bollinger Bands ang focus ka dito. Right. Ang focus ko dito ngayon is look at this support right here. Very good support. Right. And then earnings second quarter very good. Third quarter earnings should be very good also. Um, look at that price. That's a double bottom. But look at RSI. RSI is... From this point and this point, RSI is already going up. So, this bottom has more momentum than this one. This is a very good base to check out. This is a very solid support. So, check out this support. This is low risk positions. That's why I am recommending this. Because napakalit ng risk ninyo dyan sa position na yan. Shell PH, very good position, low risk. Right? AC, and si Ayala Corp, been recommending Ayala Corp here. But, yun nga lang nag-retrace and then... Yan, we are seeing a higher low for AC. That's a good position right there. That's a good signal. That's a confirmation of a higher low. You can use this higher low as your support. That's negative 2% away from support lang. So, pwede pang humabol kay AC. Right? Very good volume last trading day. So, that's a very good sign for AC. Um, next mga picks ko is food. Yan, may nagtatanong din about food. So, food, um, it broke its downtrend. So, that's a good avenue to get in food. And we have a higher low right here. So that's a very good sign for food. We have a confirmation of that higher low, very good price action. So I'm recommending food for today. You can use this um, resistance as your support. Right? Pag bumalik, pag bumaba pa yan dyan, then you just got your losses. But again, guys, this is what you call this. Walang, this is just technical analysis, right? Technical analysis is you're just be trying to guess the future based on the past movements. So, there's really no guarantee in this, right? So, wala pang anong guarantee dito. So, please cut your losses if you need to cut your losses, right? Um, so, yan. Uh, AC Food, si Tugs. Uh, Tugs ngayon, I'm recommending Tugs. Let me delete that. Tugs. Yan, si Tugs. Um, momentum is there. It's forming a support right here, right? So, it's somehow forming a support right there. 
uh, I will use this as a, my support because it's been hit for how many days already. So I will be using that as my support or MA20. Anyways, all, overall, malit pa naman yung risk niya. So I recommend tugs, right? Tugs, use this, buy as long as the support holds. Ganda ni future ng tugs, right? MBT, it's MBT naman. Ayan, Metro Bank, very good support right here at around this area. Right, I was hit once, twice, and three times. Then tumatalbog na siya. And look at the RSI, it's starting to gain momentum already. So MBT position kayo dito, very low risk as of the moment, si MBT. That was the confirmation. I did recommend MBT on the uh, last trading day. Um, and yun, nag, um, nag, nag gain nga siya. And then uh, paired up with good volume. So that's very good for MBT. MBT is good for today. UBP naman. UBP, very low risk as of the moment. And there it is, starting to gain momentum already. It's already been triggering the upper Bollinger Band. So you know where this is going already. Use the support by as long as the support holds. It's 9.10. So bilisan ko lang ito. LR, medyo pa napahaba yung topic natin kanina eh. LR naman, si LR sideways a support and it's somehow holding on. Um, look at this right here. RSI is starting to go up. Let me just zoom in on RSI. Hope everything is okay. You can see this. Yeah, double check lang. Right. So, RSI even though the support is going, going sideways, uh, RSI is showing us that there's momentum already. So, this is a good sign for LR. This is the lowest it, uh, RSI has been for the past few ano the past few um months that's a very good position for our uh, for for lr right so lr you can buy as long as the support holds right i think the support is gonna hold with the rsi movement so lr is in my picks today very low risk yeah pinili ko yan para sa inyo guys i really want to look at the low risk positions especially for newbies i want to be responsible with my recommendations yan so mga low risk na lang binibigay ko sa mga newbies right so right now the mw there it is gaining momentum it's forming a triangle so you might want to wait for a ano one you might want to wait for a breakout if you want to right it's forming a triangle resistance right there there right that's a resistance right there um, but support price action is going up so that's very good if you want to check out um, Bollinger Band we have an engulfing pattern right here nag support siya dito this is the stabilization point so I guess this is a very good point for uh, DMW already so if you want to be sure just wait for it to do a breakout from that line if you want to get in I'd say this is already a good support right here so by as long as the support holds for DMW um, those are my picks for today konti lang ang picks ko kasi naglili para na yung ibe, right so um, ayun, um, I'm gonna go back to your uh, I'm gonna go to your request kanina yung mga sinulat natin um, first up is ISM what do you think about ISM si ISM is definitely good for long term I don't recommend selling it we were able to sell half at this point did recommend it here it said buy on dips and nag dip nga dito and we have an engulfing pattern I just bought more so my average got lower I was able to sell half here ganun na nangyari and then right now it's this is a uh, good retracement I'm we were expecting this retracement, right? So let's just wait for it to bounce before we want to buy more. I don't recommend selling it if you pit kayo sa isang stock, but the stock is a good stock. Just keep buying more, right? Ang ganda na future ni ISM. So you then na yan, right? So I recommend buying more. I don't recommend um, cutting your losses or selling it, but if you're in it for trading, I don't know bakit pwasok kayo din sa taas kung trading naman ang purposes nyo. If you, want, if, if you have plans to become an investor, okay lang yan sa taas sana. But if you went in here, that's a, an investor entry. Hindi pang trading entry yan. So if investor naman kayo, why not average down, di ba? Why, why do you sell it here if investor investor naman kayo? Right, for ISM, um, just keep it, right? Just buy more, just wait for the bounce, right? Primex naman, Alright, so yeah, we were talking about Primex. This is the second time Primex did this right here. Right? Recommended Primex at this ascending triangle here. And, and nangyari rin yan dito. There's an ascending triangle also here. And then it did rally up after that. Um, it reached a very beautiful RSI. That was very good. Remember guys, we talked about this here right here. Sabi ko sa inyo, most probably si Primex after this massive sell-off it's gonna bounce right it did bounce look at that and i told you na 
um, baka mag lang ito sa downtrend line niya. It is at its downtrend line, it's still below MA20. So we don't know for sure what will happen in the future. Let's wait for it to do a retracement and then bounce before we really want to get in. Because this is a very shaky position for Primex as of the moment. So Primex, wag muna. That's a missed opportunity. Just wait for it to do a retracement before you want to get back in Primex. Babaan ko lang ito. Si IRC naman, nagkaka-rattle-rattle na mga tao. Look at this panic selling right here. Where did it bounce? MA20. Nagkaka-selling na naman. Where is it gonna bounce? Most probably at MA20. We are at a buy point kay IRC. So it's not wise to sell it at this point. Diba? Antayin nyo lang muna ang bounce. Pag nag-bounce yan, then that's good. That's you, when you buy more. So that you can average down at the very least. If it doesn't bounce, mamaya nyo na ibenta below MA20. Use MA20 as your support. Right? It's not wise to sell even above support. Yun yung problema eh. Pumasok kayo dito sa taas. Um, that's an investor entry point. That's not a trader's entry point. Kasi ang trader's entry point are the dips right here. Look at that. MA20. Support. Those are the trader's entry point. Diba? Position trader. Or, um, swing traders. Those are the swing entries right there. Um, kung pumasok kayo sa taas, that's an investor um, That's an investor entry. So, dapat investor kay dito. You just buy more if on the bounces. Look at it at a long term if you're an investor. If you use an investor entry. For IRC, wait for the bounce at MA20. Pag nag-bounce MA20 yan, pwede nyo pasukin. Sa JFC naman, right? JFC did a breakout on its sideways resistance right here. Actually, uptrend na eh. So, JFC, wait for it again at its entry point right here in the uptrend line. Huwag nyo nang pasukin yan dyan. Kasi, remember, this is an uptrend. So, meron din na yung uptrend resistance nyan. So, most probably, this is a resistance. So, in reality, JFC is at a resistance. Hindi yan, up, hindi yan, hindi yan uh, uptrend. I mean, hindi yan breakout. Right? That's an uptrend. Wait for it to go back at its uptrend line and then get back in. Wait, look at that. MA20 bounces and then look at that. Another MA20 bounce. JFC, wait for the retracement. Um, CEI. CEI naman. Ayan, CEI is forming a good support right here. You can test out CEI. Maganda naman yung projects niya lately. Eh. So, CEI, if you wanna check it out, just test buy as long as the support holds. Get in near support as much as you can. Anyway, sideways movement pa naman yan. CEI. Um, next sa uh, CEI, request is Vulcan. Ayan, si Vulcan ngayon is kind of hot. Eh, isa sa hot topic si Vulcan, right? Kasi, may news na na gagawin talagang backdoor si Vulcan, Converge ICT. But that was the rumor ever since from here. So, this is the climb of the rumor, right? And then, you know where this is going, di ba? Sell on news. Lumabas na yung news. It's either gonna go down or gonna go up. We don't really know what will happen. I think it's gonna be sell on news and then bumagsak na ito. Kasi, magtitake profits na yung mga andito, syempre, di ba? So, I think it's gonna be sell on news and then after the sell on news, just wait for it to stabilize and before before you want to enter. That's the possible scenario I'm looking at. I could be wrong. It can go up today. So if it goes up today and you see signs that it's gonna go up, you can test it at the MA20 if meron kayo gusto nyo pumasok. Use MA20 as your support. Just make sure you cut your losses here if you're trading it, right? Use your MA20 as your support for getting in Sinuman, Vulcan, right? Next up is Meg. Right, Mega World. And si Mega World naman, um, we're seeing a lower high kay Meg, but look at this right here. We have a good price action right here. So uptrend. Uptrend naman siya. You can use MA20 as your support. Get in near here and then um, use this as your support. If it goes further down, you can cut your losses and just look for another entry here sa support. Kasi there's a chance na bumalik yan sa support. The support is the best entry point right here. Right, so that's for Meg. Um, get in near um, that uptrend line as much as you can. Um, STI. And see, STI, we are here at this line right here. Antayin lang natin yung bounce ni STI. Baka mag-bounce eh. Right? So, I don't think it's gonna bounce kasi RSI. Ay, o nga pala. Here. That's good. Um, RSI is kind of higher and the prices are gonna are going down. Let's zoom in more para mas kita ninyo. This is a much lower price than compared to the previous point. So, that's pababayan. Right? 
RSI though is going up. So that's a good sign. This can bounce, right? Antay nyo lang yung bounce and then use this area as your support. If it if it fails, then just cut your losses. That's that's the only thing you can do, diba? So if you're looking at STI, just wait for the bounce. And then if mag bounce yan, paso kayo, use that as your support. If support breaks, then just cut your losses. ABS naman. ABS. Ayun, so ABS. Did recommend ABS in there in this double bottom right here. Why did I recommend it here at the support? Because look at this right here. Support, pressure, uh, sideways. But the RSI is gaining momentum. That was a good entry point. And lumilipad na si GFC. I mean si ABS. Kaso nga lang, ABS is already at resistance levels. I don't want to recommend this anymore. As of the moment, we have a lower high. So we are seeing a bad signal right there. So if you want to get in ABS, kung gusto niyo humabol, we need to make sure we confirm this momentum. Ano ang confirmation of this momentum? A breakout is the confirmation. So if you want to get in, just wait for a breakout kay ABS. At least may base kayo. Kasi if it fails that breakout and then goes back down to support, may ipit kayo niyan. Hindi natin alam kung mag-hold yung supports na yan. So just look for the base and then just cut your losses if you need to. Right? Um, that's for ABS. POPI. P-O-P-I. Right? It's 9.21. Bilisan ko lang guys yung mga yung mga requests ninyo. So, Poopy has good price action. We're seeing a higher low. Um, you can use this higher low as your support. Very good price action right here. So, you can use this as your support if you want to get in Poopy, right? Um, overall, if you want to plot Poopy's downtrend, yan. So, yeah, it's either you buy it. So I, I recommend breakout na lang muna. Use a breakout na lang. This area is your support. Very low risk position. So, pwede, nyo, pwede kayong bumili ng Poopy. Overall, Poopy is a very good company. Look at the earnings on the third, second quarter, 498%. Ang ganda ng numbers na yan. Right now, ang presyo na yan, napakamura. Way much, much, much cheaper than what ALI has bought it. What Ayala, no, Ayala land ba yun? Ayala Corp. Yeah, ALI pala. A this is under ALI. This is a much cheaper price when Ayala bought it. And you know Ayala, when they buy something, when they buy a piece, you know how good that com uh, how good that property becomes if Ayala buys it. So this is something for long term, si Popi. Next up is JFC. Question about JFC. And we talked about JFC and already pala. Um, Popi, JFC, Sec B, and Sec B. And Sec B is looking well, right? We did recommend Sec B. Dito sa baba, and another time here, that's a higher low. And then, umakit na si Sec B. Don't want to recommend it as of the moment kasi somehow we have a missed opportunity. But if you can bargain, try kayo mag-bargain dito sa support. Get in near this support as much as you can for Sec B. That's a very low risk position for Sec B, right? So, get in your support as much as you can for Sec B. If gusto niyo pumasok kay Sec B. GT Cap. Sakit ng lalamunan ko. Right, so GT Cap, um, somehow it's doing a retracement, right? Retracement and very good price action, right here. Um, GT Cap, I want you to get in on a breakout. Nito, itong triangle na ito, right? You can use a breakout strategy if you want to get in, just get in at a breakout. If ever that fails, just cut your losses, right? For GT Cap, but definitely GT Cap is looking well already. Um, uh, your RSI niya, maganda na naman. The prices were going down, but RSI has been constant. Diba? At, at sa baba, constant siya sideways. So, that's a good that's a good bottom right there. So, um, this is a good signal right here. Nasa, malapit na tayo sa 50. Right? If it reaches 50, usually that's that's an indicator of momentum. Na-clip niya na nga yung 50. Eh. So, we are starting to get momentum for GT cap. Um, this is a good position, especially if the market recovers, right? So, yeah, GT cap, that's a good position to test it out. Just wait for the breakout to confirm the trend, really, right? So, GT cap, uh, we're done with that. CLC, nahirapan ako mag-catch kay CLC, right? So, CLC, hirap uh, saluin, eh. Eh, kasi paakyat ng paakyat. You can't really see a retracement as of the moment. So, I want to be safe. I can't really say about, um, I can't really tell about the position. Yung volume, if we want to use the volume, pababa ng pababa yung volume. So, that means it's losing momentum. So, I don't want to recommend CLC buying CLC now. I really want for it to wait to do a retracement before I really want to get in CLC. 
again, right? So volume slow go, going down, so CLC might pull back anytime soon. So antay na lang muna yung retracement kay CLC before you wanna get in. Vulcan, we talked about Vulcan already. VLL, right? So VLL, yeah, so VLL is forming a good triangle right here. Very good bottom for VLL. Um, somehow it's failing to do an engulfing pattern, but price action is looking good, right? So price action is doing good right here. Um, but we are hitting a resistance at this area right here. So I will recommend just wait for a breakout if you want to get in VLL right away, but I don't recommend this yet. I s ang gusto kong gawin ninyo is wait for it to do, uh, to really do a breakout and read. Do, do a breakout at least or a retracement, a higher low position for a confirmation of an uptrend before you really wanna get in VLL. Ang pangit na numbers ni VLL, I mean not na numbers, ang pangit na movements ni VLL lately. So, can't really say if this is the best bottom right now but okay naman yung RSI, inabot yung RSI. It's starting to gain, gain momentum. So, let's just confirm that momentum, let it break out, use a breakout as your base. Alright, so, it's 9.25. Really sorry if I cannot uh, answer all your questions. Lahat na request na pahaba yung discussion natin. But it was a very good uh, it was a very good discussion from you guys. Right? So, um, pasensya na if hindi ko masagot lahat. Right? Yun lang muna for today. Again, kay Green, konting ingat. If hindi nyo kaya mag-trade, mag-interday trade, wag nyo pipilitin. Wag kayo maiingit sa gains. Right? Um, that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. As always, Let's get rich together. Bye-bye, guys.